Hi everyone, it's Elliot from TutorialEdge.net and in this tutorial I'm going to be demonstrating how you can connect to a MySQL database and perform basic SQL statements in Go. Now the full text version of this tutorial can be found on my website and I'll leave a link to this in the description below. Now in order for us to connect to our MySQL database we're going to require the use of a MySQL driver. Now I'll leave a link to this driver that we're going to be using in the description below. Now, the reason we're using a MySQL driver in order to connect to our MySQL database is because it handles a lot of the stuff necessary to communicate with these databases for us. So, for instance, we're getting automatic handling of broken connections, automatic connection pooling, and more. Now, the Go MySQL driver is an implementation of Go's database slash SQL slash driver interface. By implementing the driver, we have access to the full database slash SQL API. So let's dive into the code and create a simple Go program that is able to connect to a database. First, what we want to do is start by calling package main and then defining our list of imports. So for this, this simple example, I'm gonna need FMT, database slash SQL, and the database driver that we talked about, like so, oops. Next, what we want to do is define our main function, and it's within the body of this function that we're going to attempt to connect to our locally running MySQL database. So, func main, and just to get started, fmd.println go MySQL tutorial. And below this, we're going to want to call sql.open, and this returns a tuple of our database object and an error and sql.open and the first argument of this is going to be the name of our driver so in this instance we're calling or using the mysql driver as we've stated before and the second argument is going to be our data source name which is going to be a concatenation of the username the password the ip address and the name of the database that we're going to be connecting to as well as the port so that's going to look something like this root password, depending on what you set your username and password as, at TCP and the IP address for localhost at port 3000, uh, 3306. And we're going to append the name of the database to the end of this. So I've called it testdb just for the tutorial. Finally, what we want to do here is we want to handle the error. So if an error is thrown and our MySQL driver is unable to connect to this MySQL database for any reason, we want to be able to handle that. So if error does not equal nil, we want to simply panic like so. Finally, we want to defer db.close and this defer st statement will then keep the connection open for the remainder of this function. So that will come in handy when we want to do things like insert, select, update, and so on. Finally, what we want to do is print successfully connected to my SQL database. Perfect, no errors. So let's try and run this. So go run main.go, and you'll see that I've managed to successfully connect to our MySQL database that I have running locally on my machine. So now that we've managed to successfully create a connection to our MySQL database, let's try and play about with it and insert some values. Now, just for the sake of this tutorial, I've created a table called users, and that simply features a name field. As you can see from this select star query, it returns no, no results. Now let's fix that and come into our go program. Now the first thing we're going to want to do is to call the db query function and pass in the insert statement that we're going to want to have executed. So db insert or error equals db.query and this is going to be a raw SQL so insert into users values and I'm simply going to put in Elliot. Below this, we're going to want to handle any errors 
So if error does not equal nil, then we simply want to panic, passing in the error.error. .error. And finally, we want to do defer insert dot close and then print successfully inserted into users table. Perfect. Now let's try and run this. So go run main.go. And you should see that we've successfully inserted into our users table. So if we come back into here, we should see our new user now shows up in the results grid. Fantastic. So now that we've been able to successfully insert into the database, how do we query that and re return the results in a meaningful fashion? Well, first of all, we're going to start by defining a struct. So this will be of type user. And it will simply feature a name, which will be of type string. And the JSON for this will be name. Now, let's take out our insert code and replace this with a query. So results or error equals db.query. And we want to select name from users. And again, if the results or the error is not nil, then we want to panic. Below this, we want to call for results.next. And we want to create a user object. So user of type user. Error equals results.scan at user.name. And if error from the scan does not equal nil, then again, we're going to panic. Below this, should the results.scan work correctly, we should then be able to call fmt.println and user.name like so. Give this a shot, so go run main.go and you should see our initial print statement and then the list of users, which is only one for now. Brilliant. So that's pretty much it for this tutorial. We managed to successfully connect to a MySQL database before then going on to insert some values into that database and then being able to query that table and return the results as a Go object. So hopefully you found this tutorial useful. If you did, please feel free to support the channel by leaving a like and subscribing to my channel for more programming-based tutorials. Cheers.